piece that ACO is going to perform is called These Worlds and Us, and it was written in 2006 for my father. My father was a soldier in Vietnam, and sometime around my Christmas break from school, you know, we started talking about his experience in Vietnam really for the first time. And what struck me was uh, not so much the intensity or the shock of his experiences there, but just the fact that this man who I'd known my whole life could be carrying all this stuff around with him and set myself sort of the impossible goal of writing a piece about my father as a person. I was also inspired by working with Louis Andreessen. I first came into contact with Louis Andreessen's music in when I was an undergrad at BU, and it was completely life-changing, and I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> he taught me how to taught me the difference between making a life in music and making a career in music. And I think that Louis Andreessen really lives a life in music. You feel this when you talk to him, no matter what you're talking about, whether it's literature or art or philosophy or any herring, anything. <laughs> you know, he really um, approaches everything in a very unique and creative way. And that, to me, was was very inspiring. And I think that the ability to make that distinction between making a life and making just making a career has really saved me in a lot of kind of my darkest moments. In 2007, I started my own ensemble, Victoire. And the instrumentation is violin, clarinet, two keyboards, and double bass. The music that I write for the band is really a lot of the same music that I would write for a chamber ensemble or for an orchestra. It's just kind of distilled down to these five instruments. Yeah, we're gonna use this torture. I feel like my generation, there's sort of been a critical mass of people who are starting their own ensembles. Influenced by the Philip Glass Ensemble, you know, with Meredith Monk, and also with Louis Andreessen, he taught me the value of writing for your friends and starting your own group and writing music with specific people in mind. One, two, three. having a life in art versus just having a career in art means um, keeping track of the bigger picture. You know, like, why am I doing this? <laughs> it's not for the money, it's not for the fame. Like, why, but why do I feel compelled to write music? And if I can wake up and address that every day, that gives me the energy to do all the mundane, stupid things that you have to do as a composer in order to get your music out there, especially when you're young. And that's just what keeps me going. Very good. That makes Yay, total sense. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on.